Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 10. Alright, um, the previous episode, everything went extremely smoothly as like Sukasa kind of joined their team. Like technically he did not join but he said that yeah we won't fight. Uh, like we'll like I'm kind of joining you for the time being. So okay, which I think is pretty good you know like like instead of uh, like going at each other's throat they are kind of cooperating so yeah and the reason behind it is because Senku was able to like um decipher what his like what actually Sukasa's you know uh like objective was uh his sister is still somewhere you know petrified and he is like uh like i think he was like looking for her as well and everything so all of those kind of things and like that also like uh made him in his real in the real world uh you know earn money like become this famous because of the hospital bills and all so all of those things uh, in, like uh like the summation of all of those things kind of made him who he is now so like Senku kind of understood that and he said that we can still find her and maybe just maybe she will become all right you know if the nitric acid is uh, like it's like the nitric acid is, is like made to unpetrify her maybe she'll turn out to be fine her coma would you know go away the same way that uh, ailments and different uh, like wounds and everything gets cured by that uh, by the nitric acid the same thing might happen so yeah that was the main thing you know to convince Sukasa and he is pretty much on board with the plan and like now the you know question comes if like I'm sure like we'll see today what happens like if somehow uh, her name was Mirai if somehow Mirai gets uh, like you know like gets cured and like wakes up from the coma then it will mean that you know a, a lot of possibilities will uh, like come out like all of the people who has been petrified if they like suffer from suffered from some disease before petrification they'll be fine now so it will be like a whole world where there is no you know no uh, like disease nothing like everyone will be fit and healthy it will be a disease free world so now the question comes like who petrified them and uh, is it like uh, whoever petrified them is it because of good intentions or bad intentions because like it looks like it is kind of it has some kind of good intention behind it so yeah like a lot of question comes uh, up now if like it really is like works as we saw before like everyone gets cured from the diseases from the wounds and everything that they sustained before petrification so yeah Anyways guys, so let's get started with this episode without further ado. Um, let's start episode number 10 of Dr. Stone season 2. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, a recap, a little bit of... Yeah, they made a DNT, you know, uh, nitroglycerin. Oh, what? Oh, is that so? <laughs> Yoga got so impressed, he completely <laughs> unmasked himself, <laughs> which is quite rare for masked, you know, masked anime characters. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, does this mean that Sukasa never knew that it has this healing property? Like, if she knew that uh, he knew this, then he would have, like, f like, first he would try to uh, cure his sister. So that means he did not know about it or something. I don't know. But the question comes, if he knew, why did he not do this before? Maybe he got scared, you know, like if something bad happens or something. What? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Same thing with you, Zuriha. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. <laughs> you like this plot point. Oh, this cloth. Oh, so I was wondering, like, in the opening, we always saw someone being unpetrified. So it's Mirai. Okay. You know, in the opening, we always see someone. Okay, let's. There you go. Yeah, it is her. Like, we always see this scene in the opening. <laughs> oh yeah, they did not see. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Is this smacking? Oh yeah, that is quite true, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I never thought about this. Yeah, like that's quite true. Like, like people are brain dead basically. So it's able to like cure them. So, oh yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. She looks a lot like Suika. Damn, she has patterns in her hair. What the hell? Wow, it is, it's like a design in her hair. And she's going to be confused. Obviously, like suddenly looking. <laughs> You've gotten old, wow. Oh, a dialect. Yeah, she has an accent, not an accent, sorry, a dialect. <laughs> yep, that's quite true. Okay, so now what happens like they're friends now, so like how is Like what's ha going to happen now like they're basically the strongest duo like Senku and Tsukasa like who is even a threat to them? <laughs> like you know And people are petrified so I'm guessing they're going to unpetrify people now Wow, I was not expecting like, you know, uh, everything to become so peaceful so quickly. Uh, I thought maybe they're going to, you know, kind of stretch this whole thing to the next season as well. There is, you know, like the opening. Uh, we always, like, I always thought that who is that person who gets unpetrified? So oh, it's Mirai, okay. Oh, what happened to Yo? We forgot about him. <laughs> Where is he now? Like, oh boy. Man is, that's what I was saying, you know, like, they're the strongest, like what? Okay. She still has thing in her hair. Yeah. Yeah. 
Whatever Hyoka says is like seems extremely fishy. Huh? What? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Who? Yoga? Wait. Oh, Homura did it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think so. Oh, or maybe not. Yeah, Homura, like, it's a gymnast, you know? So, uh, like, okay, I, I was thinking yoga. No, it's not yoga. Oh, maybe yeah, Homura is extremely loyal to yoga. Maybe yoga said something to Homura. Oh my god, Yo is here. Wait. Wait, he's a, like, what are they planning? What the hell? <laughs> wow. My god, mantle is sleeping. What the hell? What the hell are they planning? True objective. Oh god, I knew something was fishy about this guy. Oh great. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and yoga as well. Yeah. And he also like asked Suika, uh, not Suika, uh, uh, Mirai to go to the river or whatever. Oh, Sukasa is also here. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Don't leave her alone with... Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, no. What? What the? Okay, I was not expecting What? Oh God. Oh! Wow, he wants to complete the whole thing. Yeah. Wow, what the hell? I was thinking like we're going to get some peaceful episodes. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Oh boy, what? Okay, the... 
Tenko's hair is down, what the? Oh my god, what now? I'm married. <laughs> wow. Oh god. Oh, he's okay. I Damn the moon. It's like horns in his head. Oh great. I knew it. Like so this is what he... okay. Oh, he's Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not that. I was thinking he was going to say, like, not everyone could be pet, like, unpetrified. So he was, oh my god, he was on board with this. That's not possible, you know, like Oh god No Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. So this was the unstoppable toy attack team they were talking about? What the hell? Oh god. What now? Okay, come on. <laughs> mm, yeah. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> wow! Okay, okay, come on! Knock him out, just knock him out! That, like... Like, is he okay? Like, he's bleeding. 
Okay, thank God. This is the tag team they're talking about. <laughs> Oh, you're badly mistaken, dude. Yeah. Oh, boy. Brain and brawn. All right, let's go. Let's see. <laughs> I doubt that's the case. Oh, that's a big statement. Oh. What's he doing? Eleven. What? Oh, come. Oh, T. He's going to blow up the place. But is that going to work? Ah, oh, great. Now what? I'm sure there's another plan. Huh. What? Okay. I'm sure there's some plan, some plan, come on. <clears throat> oh my God. Oh no. What? Come on. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, that's that's uh, uh, electrical like is that a battery or something? Oh, he's using his blood or something? Wait, wait a minute. Oh no, what is he using? What is that? Oh, the batteries, he has the batteries. Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god yes it's done gun oh boy
Oh god. And there you go. Oh <laughs> damn. I hope that knocked some sense into you. Oh boy. What now? Like what the hell is going to happen now? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, you're gonna end it like that? Oh god, what? <sighs> oh god. Like, I am really unable to predict what's going to happen because you know, if this is a real world, uh, like the modern world, it's because of my, my, like, you know, could have been safe probably in some way. But, like, this is, like, there's no medical instruments, nothing. He's bleeding out. And they say something like his lung is punctured. And, like, how do you even do that? Like, Senku is a scientist, he's not a doctor. So, like only one thing I can kind of like see some hope in it is the petrification like you know like but how even is it going to do like help them because they cannot petrify people like they can only unpetrify people so like if they somehow knew how to petrify people and like probably then like they could you know like petrify Sukasa and then unpetrify him so the whole like wound gets healed or something but like they don't even know like what the petrification actually is so I really am unable to you know understand how are they going to get out of this like situation and like that's even thinking about the later portion like the first thing that you should think about now is how are they going to uh, get rescued from this place uh, like I'm sure like uh, Kohaku and all of them knows that like you know all of the where the like rivers go and stuff because they've been living in this place so they might like uh, get here sooner or later but like you know the time when they are like sprawling on the ground Sukasa is uh, losing blood and he is like he's injured so badly so that's also going to be a big problem later on uh, when if somehow they are rescued from here <clears throat> Excuse me, and there's the whole thing with Homura as well like Homura and Yo are still there so If somehow Homura and Yo comes here before um, <clears throat> Excuse me before Kohaku and uh, her team Oh boy Yeah, like I don't know like uh, I hope they don't kill him off like oh boy like you know like I really am able to like you know think how are they going to get out of this mess like there are no proper way like if, if somehow like Sukasa is extremely you know uh, like uh, is able to cling on to his life uh, maybe that's going to help like, it's all on Sukasa now, like, he has to cling on to his, you know, like, life. And then maybe somehow, like, after Kohaku and everyone gets here, they can rescue him and Senku. And Senku can give some, you know, advice on how to uh, keep Sukasa, you know, like, help him, help Sukasa. Like, obviously, like, Senku's not a doctor, but he is extremely, like, you know, like, proficient in science, so... He must know something to how to help Kasa, even if he himself is unable to do it, uh, or maybe he can do it. Like I still don't know how he is with, you know, like these kind of medical situations. Like we saw Senku like do stuff with chemistry, physics, like make stuff, invent stuff, 
but like i've not seen obviously i've not seen him he didn't even have to like uh, like he never fell into these kind of situations before like uh, where like someone is extremely injured and he has to patch him up or something like uh, like this is not just a simple injury like it, this is not something that yeah like oh is you're hurt we can like wrap a bandage around you you'll be fine after two days like this is not something like that this is something quite intricate you know you need uh, actual medical uh, expertise to probably do some like and I, or maybe i'm just you know jumping into conclusions maybe like no but he just like yoga just said that uh, his lung is punctured so it is pre a pretty big deal i'm guessing so yeah like now the question comes that how the hell are they going to get out of this mess i don't know like oh maybe they can unpetrify some doctor or something like you know yeah 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 they can do it okay there is hope you know like if somehow they no no go go back and like uh, like you know there's like uh, like maybe some uh, amazing doctor from japan they know about a uh, famous doctor if there is some kind of a statue within sukasa's collection <laughs> because statue collection if there is some you know person like that like some famous doctor or someone uh, like okay yeah there is a hope like you know like senku and all of them can probably go quickly and unpetrify that doctor maybe the doctor could help I don't know, like, this is just something that I thought, you know, but it's going to be pretty difficult, like, uh, you know, like, Lucas is losing blood and it's quite a dangerous situation, and yeah, I don't know, let's just wait for the next episode, so yeah, okay, so, well, like, this episode is quite, you know, like, clear cut, like, nothing much to say about, because this was just, like, uh, yoga doing uh, like you know rebelling against the whole situation and uh, not rebelling but revolting rebelling is a good word <laughs> revolting yeah uh, so <clears throat> now uh, you know like uh, like i thought about this before that uh, like i kind i don't know if i i don't remember if i mentioned this in the previous episode but when yoga was unpetrified uh, not unpetrified sorry when yoga like saw everything happening I, I kind of said that like i was extremely surprised as to how yoga uh you know like took everything by like sukasa's word he just agreed to it you know like when sukasa said that okay like we'll kind of cooperate from now on yoga said nothing about it and i thought like uh like as far as i knew uh yoga had his own intentions so i was extremely surprised at that i was thinking like is his loyalty so much that he never like questioned anything about this whole situation he just like started to follow sukasa as he said so i was i was quite confused at that and i was quite surprised and i thought maybe that is it you know like maybe yoga is really quite loyal to sukasa and so sukasa said that okay like uh, everything is okay now we won't fight and that was it so i was thinking and then like um yeah like this episode happened and i like said like i uh, like i realized that yeah like it was too good to be true like yoga himself had his own intentions and um like you know like i'm sure like yoga decided to join sukasa because their uh <clears throat> goal collide like you, you know intersected and their goal were kind of the same so like sukasa said that yeah we will prune this whole world from the you know uh, the people who are not worthy and will only um, unpetrify the worthy people which was kind of explained in the previous episode like you know like where how like sukasa took the whole uh, sin of like you know the like the thing of dirtying his hands he took it up on himself and like uh, it, like you know it's like quite impossible to uh, unpetrify the whole 7 billion people in the whole earth like even if they are able to pet unpetrified it's going to take quite a while so yeah and like it's ne not necessarily that like all everything like this everything will happen quite smoothly because there will be bad people within those unpetrified and they might try to mess stuff up you know like just like yoga did like they might try to seize control of the whole situation and like uh take control of the miracle cave and you know like say something like yeah like uh, do my bidding if you want to done but uh, like the nitric acid something like that like like revolt like they might start revolting 
so like like with all of these problems and everything it will take a while to do this and like uh like who knows like how many years it will take so and also like there's this whole thing with the earth being unable to support the seven billion people and uh, the population and like uh, all of these kind of like uh, problems so sukasa took it upon himself to like dirty his own hands and do the job which uh, also coincided with yoga's you know yoga's uh, like uh, intentions as well now as far as from yoga's uh, like conversation in this episode one thing i kind of got is that like yeah he is of the same um, like thinking like he he thought the same thing as sukasa but he was more aggressive with it he was like you know how he was freaking out this episode he was like yeah we will only uh, unpetrify the worthy people and like uh, the unworthy people like we won't do anything with about them like and like he was freaking out and everything so <clears throat> i don't know if it's somehow related to something in his past or not but the way he was so uh, like what can i say like the way he was so trying to um, do this and he was so you know like serious about this i don't know i think maybe something related to his past or something we still don't know anything about yoga you know like we kind of saw sukasa's past everyone's past we kind of saw bits and pieces but nothing on yoga or did we get anything no no i don't think they showed anything about yoga yeah so maybe something you know like why he is like this something maybe like similar to sukasa like some kind of bad past with uh people who exploited him or something maybe so that's why he is so bent upon uh like uh, petrifying the worthy people so as soon as like sukasa's you know like <clears throat> like goal changed like he also started making plans on how to defeat sukasa so he can become the you know strongest person so he can control this whole thing and all so yeah like okay so so yoga did like start revolting like in the previous episode i was quite surprised as to how yoga really like uh, just listened to sukasa just like that and said that okay like we are friends huh? i was quite surprised at that so yeah and <clears throat> okay and then we uh, like the whole episode was all of these things and like uh, the first thing that happened was mirai was unpetrified and she's fine now like no coma nothing she's completely fine so it kind of proves the whole theory that uh, the nitric acid can unpetrify uh, people and at the same time it will cure any kind of uh, like you know uh, like problems you have yeah and so it's basically like it's uh, like what can i say like uh, what do they actually call them like uh like the thing that cures everything like ambrosia or something no or panacea something like that uh i'm not quite like i cannot remember the actual word it is called but something like that you know like one of those things that you uh, if you have it like it will like cure any disease you'll be completely disease free or something and obviously this is not something you consume this is something you put upon like it's like uh like something like uh, that you put upon the petrified statue and that statue breaks and like while breaking uh, some kind of healing mechanism might, must occur within the body and the breaking of the stone uh, of the petrified po- uh, petrified portion kind of heals you completely in any disease or anything just like it completely makes you like a new person so i doubt it can like revive dead people like i doubt that but like like unless like even if you have a little life left in you you will be completely fine it's something like that that means so yeah and then we get the next portion where we see like um like how homura broke out uh, with the help of hio and um and i am not really sure why homura is so loyal to yoga like you know like were they acquainted in like previously or like the respect that she got for yoga maybe it happened in the stone world i'm not really sure about that maybe it's like you know something like happened like yoga saved her or something in this wo- world or i don't know 
so yeah i am not actually sure why she is so loyal to yoga but there must be something and uh yeah and then like obviously like she does everything that yoga says and yoga tries to use uh you know the only weakness that sukasa has uh mirai uh, as kind of a bar like you know a thing and like taking that as a chance he taps sukasa and yeah like i don't know like how this is going to solve like this problem is going to solve itself i really hope sukasa like you know like turns out to be okay like i was just saying you know like uh like who are like who are even going to oppose them like senku and sukasa like it's like the strongest team so <laughs> like they pulled up this card you know like trying to <laughs> like you know remove uh, one of the characters so that like the power balance is like kind of becomes same similar again like yeah you know like uh, like if the like the main team the main protagonist team gets too strong like who the hell are they even going to oppose them like what's even going to happen it's like like nothing's going to happen it, it, it it'll like just end like all the like uh, conflict will end and like uh, the time only when that can happen is towards the end of a manga or an anime like the main protagonist team gets so strong that there is like no enemy left and like no one can oppose them the strongest enemy is somehow defeated and like that's the only time that it happens and i'm sure like doctor stone like we still have like, i think the manga is still ongoing like we still have a lot of things left so i was thinking like how are they even going to proceed from here maybe you know introduce some new characters like some uh, new characters who are even like uh, on par with senku and sukasa and who somehow turn to be evil and maybe they like you know like senku and sukasa are like while well, unpetrifying people some kind of person like this appears and they will like uh, like then there's be like a conflict and all but it turns out the problem was already there like yoga like he he was already lurking around them so yeah and like he caught everyone by surprise and i really hope they don't do you know what i'm think they're going to doing like trying to remove sukasa from the whole uh, you know from the whole uh, like uh, scenario and like trying to you know uh, reduce the power level of the main protagonist like no like i really don't want that like it's kind of going to be like you know like a generic thing is going to become like i i don't want that uh maybe uh, i still like i don't know what i want actually want like maybe limit his you know strength somehow some way but don't kill him off like that's the only thing that i don't want so yeah like uh, i'm sure we'll get to see what's going to happen in the next episode and i really hope they don't kill him off like that's the only thing that i want because yeah like like if they kill them him off like then it's, it's going to be like what the hell like mirai just like you know got and petrified meet met her brother for one second and then suddenly he's going to die like what and like sukasa and, and senku like they became friends and they're like on the same uh, you know like path now just to for himself to die like no i i really don't want that so i really hope they keep sukasa alive but you know like he's injured now so maybe he won't be able to you know uh, like get the same strength back or something and like like i really hope they like nerf the team like and their i i can see like their main objective is they're trying to nerf the like you know nerf the strength uh, uh nerf the uh, like senku's team like sukasa getting into the equation is pretty you know pretty like they became too strong so they're nerfing them i i can see like the, what that's the, what they're trying to do so okay like do it obviously like yeah like without like reducing their power nothing is going to happen they're going to be the strongest people in the you know stone world and they're going to like rule the whole place something like that like that really won't like you know the manga like the anime will become kind of dull because of that no conflict nothing so i kind of get what trying to they're trying to do but please don't kill him off that's what what i you know 
oh, like wish for so yeah so yeah guys that's it that was this episode this was uh dr stone episode number uh season two episode number 10 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um, i'll be back with another episode of dr stone season two next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day